Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best. Got on my camouflage today. My <laughs> my wife gets on to me because I wear so much camouflage, but that's I just like camouflage. Anyway, uh, I got my sunglasses on. Reason being, my friend on YouTube, be sure to check him out, John Boys Pro Wash. He pressure washed the house and the driveway, and uh, it's the driveway is really bright. We've lived here 28 years, 29 years at this same at this same house, and uh, I've never seen the driveway so bright before. Pretty neat. I'm real happy with it. Uh, today's video is about. Sorry, pressed the wrong button. I got some parts for my 1966 Chevy C10 truck. If you're new to the channel, it's a 66 short bed, fleet side, 66 C10 truck. It's kind of got some mis mismatched colors on it. I believe it was originally teal, I think. Just looking at, you know, some of the primered spots. I'll show you a picture either before this video starts or maybe before and after. I'll show you the picture of the truck. And you can go back on my YouTube uh History, you know, videos, uh, Primer is Best is what you're watching right now, Primer is Best. And uh, you can see the truck, you know, I'm, tr I'm trying to do, like like today, for example, I'm trying to do videos to show one of these days, one of these days it might not happen, but most of the time it does. One of these days, somebody else might want to buy the 66 C10 truck, and if they do, they can see all the stuff that's been done to it. I always document you know, I like to look at it too, just to see how far something has come, you know, since when you first got it. So the 66 C10 truck is sitting on a 71 uh, Chevy C10 truck frame, which means it's five lug disc brakes on the front. So the bed's not bolted down yet or nothing. It's just kindly sitting there. And uh, things that have been done to it thus far, but let me start off by saying, the truck is at GM Tim 38. Check out his YouTube channel. It's GM Tim, not 10, Tim 38. GM Tim 38. The truck is there. Along at to, As of today, so is my 78 uh, Chevy C10 truck, Billy James. Brian, that's his name, Brian. Him and his dad, Charlie, have been, have been, I call it playing. It's actually working on Billy James first because I'm not in a hurry for the 66 C10 truck. It, you know, I am, but I'm not. I'm having to deal with, you know, personal issues with my mother-in-law being in a nursing home and this, that, and the other. So, I mean, even if it was here, I probably wouldn't have time to do a whole heck of a lot because we're having to take care of her. She's having some issues, and we're trying to resolve those issues. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into all that. If you've been watching my channel, I've, I've told you a little tidbits here and there about my mother-in-law. She had a massive stroke, and she's not the same person she was. She's 94, so if you would pray for her, I'd appreciate it. Okay, here we go. I've been buying some parts, ordering parts. My wife and I have uh, when we can't afford it. And so uh, I don't know. If, I, I don't have all the parts out here. I do have uh, new door locks and uh, what else do I have? I, I got some more stuff. Let's look and see what we do have. I'm just showing you some of the things that we have. These are tail light bezels with the, with the tail light lens. I have those. The ones on the truck are, I guess, are just fine. But you know me, I always like to put new tail lights and stuff in everything because it makes it, as I like to say, pop. One of my favorite words, pop. Make it look better. Make it look like it's still got some life left in it. I got this stuff, I think, yesterday. Okay, I got these from Tucker's, Tucker's uh, Truck Parts. Uh, 
a new armrest with with the screws. I, where are the screws? Oh, there's the screws. With with new screws. So I the those trucks back in the day were were just like my '57 Chevy trucks and GMC trucks I had. They had no arm no armrest, and it's kind of handy to have something to you know grab a hold of and you know shut the door and uh, maybe put your elbow on it or whatever rest your arm whatever i, I kind of gotten used to that so i always had to put a armrest on my old trucks and i didn't really care if they matched or not but on this one i kind of do I'm trying to do the best i can these are uh 64 64 through 67 Chevy GMC truck armrest left or right black That's what I wanted. They're the cheapest ones they had. I think they were like I'm trying to remember how much they 50 or 60 bucks for two which I got two uh, What else? Oh, I got this right here now. I haven't seen these but my wife has I Don't know what I was doing, but I didn't I didn't get a chance to look at them. I got some uh, door. My wife says I says it. <laughs> there I go. My wife says I say this wrong. It's door seal. Not seals. She says I say seals, but actually I don't. It's door seals. <laughs> I probably said it wrong just then, though, didn't I? But these are original. I, di I didn't get anything with a bow tie or nothing. I just got the ones that are supposed to be correct on it because the truck I have does not have any and uh, even though I would have liked to have found used you know decent used ones there's none around here I live in East Tennessee if I didn't tell you this comes from uh, old Tucker's as well that was I see I was trying to remember how much this was I think uh Whoa. Uh, you know, guys, I don't, I can't remember how much this stuff was, but it's the cheapest armrest I could find. And uh, even though it doesn't exactly match the interior of the truck, the seat is black, so I thought black armrests would be great. So that's what I got. Nothing expensive, nothing fancy. That's the '66 uh, C10 is just a, you know, a plain Jane kind of truck. I have uh, these things here that, that I told you I was probably going to have to order, and I did. These are, uh, I'll get it out here in just a minute. I'm trying not to make the video long, guys. I apologize. But these are, these are uh, the, hard to do this with one hand, the headlight bezel. I'm not going to take them all the way out. If you've watched, been watching my videos, the grill is, you know aluminum i call everything chrome but aluminum and this is new it's probably going to stand out like a sore thumb but i'll probably have to do something with it to make it look like it matches the grill you know the the truck has chrome bumpers and chrome grill a lot of things you know i kind of like about it i'll put this up in a minute so i don't waste y'all's time what else have i neglected to show you oh i got new uh Well, I guess, oh, new uh, turn signal, uh, you know, the front turn signals, you know, the, the bezels and the bezels, you know, turn signals. Maybe, I don't know if you can see that or not. I apologize, guys. I probably should have, there, you know, turn signals and stuff. Of course it looks kind of awkward but uh i'm going to put them in the truck after we get done painting it and when i say painting i'm talking rattle can painting my wife and i have had a color picked out because we could actually find it I, I think the like i said i think the color was originally teal teal green whatever but uh having a hard time finding that color so um as of now, I think we're going to go with uh, almond colored. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's the other armrest. What I 
I've been trying to do videos to update you. So I also have brand new door locks, a brand new ignition uh, with matching keys and matching a uh, glove box lock. And seems like I've gotten something else. I'm just doing a little bit, a little bit as I can afford it. I'm on a fixed income, so you know you just gotta, you know, do a little bit at a time. And uh, you know, plus you know I I'm having to uh, pay, uh, you know, GM Tim Bryan. You know he's he's my buddy and Charlie his dad. You know they both been working on the truck. I have a video of it up and running. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a short video where they're just pulling into the driveway. They were showing me it would run and has brakes. You know, it didn't have no brakes. It, you know, the, all the brakes are new. Uh, you know, new hoses and, uh, you know, everything that goes along with brakes. Because I'm not a mechanic and I don't want to have an accident or misfortune. So, uh... Yeah, so I'm just doing a little bit, a little bit. I'm having to pay them. And uh, the truck has a new gas tank, new grommet around the gas tank. And, of course, like I said, new brakes. Uh, I'm going to have to check the next time I go over there to GM1038. If you'll check out his, if you'll subscribe to his channel, you won't miss any of the videos. He He doesn't put out, he doesn't, excuse me, he does not put out a lot of videos because he works all the time. He's been working 12 hours a day and on the weekends too, so, you know, some people say, well, you know, he doesn't put out many videos where the poor boy works all the time, not counting driving an hour or two work and an hour back, so he stays pretty busy, and to get as much done on my stuff as he gets done is an amazement to me. Uh, what else is I going to tell you? Oh, he t I don't know if he's made a video of this. He probably will. Like I said, my 78 C10 truck is over there now, Billy James. I always name my vehicles. I I have I don't have a name for the C10, the 66 yet. So I I'll do that when I get it home. We can come up with a name. I'll let y'all choose a name for the truck. But uh he told me he he's changed the seat belts out. The seat belts are red now instead of blue. Uh, you know, the truck, my longtime subscribers know what I'm talking about. The truck was born white and it's still white on the outside, but the insides were blue. It's now white on the outside with red interior because I bought a wrecked truck, changed the dash, the carpet, the seat to red because I'm on a budget. I can't afford all brand new stuff like that. You know, that'd be expensive. So... Anyway, the seat belts match the seat, the carpet, and the dash now. Plus, he has put a stereo in it because somebody, you know, with a radio, stereo, radio, whatever, in a dash. I'm assuming Billy James, the guy that owned the truck, he cut that out, jagged it up. It looked pretty rough. So uh, now I have a stereo in it, and he sent me a short video just a few seconds Brian did before he went in the house to get a shower and go to bed that he's got the radio working and it sounds good. So now i got a radio in it. There's a few more things on the list uh, of the truck that I'm going to have him to do on Billy James. And then, you know, I'll we'll just see when he gets on the 66. Just uh, He stays busy all the time. But anyway, if you'll subscribe to his channel when he does put a video up it's very interesting <laughs> i get tickled at him sometime i think you will too uh anyway just giving you a little update on the 66 c10 truck it's I'm, I'm get i'm gathering stuff up so when i get it back home we can paint it rattle can painting we can put our own patina on it it's going to be i think it has the potential to be a pretty good looking truck i don't know if i'm going to two-tone it or not I have intentions of maybe, uh, you know, two-tone uh, white and that almond colored. Kind of like a, a little bit like uh, my 84 C10 truck left turn bill. You know, I two-toned it, and to me it looks so much better. Uh, anyway, we'll come up with I'll be asking y'all questions. If you like and subscribe, you won't miss nothing. You know, a lot of people you know say well what what'd you do here well you know just watch the videos you'll see what's going on and uh 
and if you have not subscribed yet please do and you'll get notifications you know when i put a video up so what am i wanting to do uh, i'm gonna have to take it's got a rubber mat in it and I, i'm gonna check and see again what kind of condition it's in if it's in decent shape you know decent doesn't have to be perfect because my trucks are all of my trucks are patina style shop truck so you know i'll clean it up and uh, pull it out of the truck clean it up and all that other kind of stuff and we can start putting door seals <laughs> i think i said that right door seals and uh, you know some of this other stuff on it and we'll make it look the best we can on a budget that's what my channel is about now there's some things you know like i said that i can't do i'm not a mechanic i'm not a body man but i don't mind rattle can painting and doing the best we can with what we have so uh Oh, uh, let's see, what else is I going to tell you? Oh, the other video I made not too long ago, I don't know when you're seeing this one, but the one where I was talking about, I hope the wheels and tires fit, I was talking about, uh, I hope the tires will fit up under the, up under the 66, because they're 275, 60, 15s. They're on truck rally wheels, 5 on 5. I know they'll fit on the truck. I probably should have stated my concern a little bit more, you know, said what I was talking about. But anyway, I was concerned. I'm hoping the tires won't rub on the, on the truck. I think they'll look pretty good on there. Got new center caps, new beauty rings. You know, it's, I think it's going to be, a, you know, a decent looking old truck. It's a 350. And it, if you didn't know, 350. Got the Ram Horn uh, exhaust manifolds. And uh, it's a three-speed on the column. I'm going to keep it a three-speed on the column as long as it doesn't act up and, you know, act, act ridiculous. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it a three-speed on the column. And I, I like three-speeds on the column. I've had several, and I like them. As long as they shift good, I have no problem. So anyway, I've rattled on long enough. I just wanted to show you. I'm just, you know, Like I said, I'm just kind of documenting everything that I do on the truck. One day if somebody says, hey, Jimmy, what do you want for that truck? You know, I always tell people to go back on my videos, look and see what's been done to it. So there is no mistake of, you know, me forgetting to tell you something or whatever. Because I, I try to be as honest as I can possibly be. You know, look on the videos. You might see something you don't like about a truck that I've done or had somebody do. And, you know, that's okay. I, now you know, kind of thing. I've talked long enough. Thanks for watching, guys. You're watching Primer is Best. And I uh, appreciate y'all listening to me. I'm going to put all this stuff back up and uh, just kind of put my sunglasses on and look at this driveway. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I'm on uh, Facebook, Primer is Best, Instagram, Primer is Best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I occasionally put videos up on whenever things kindly normal around here. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. So... Check me out and check out GM Tim 38 on YouTube. And he's got that 59 Kingswood wagon. Goes by the name of Matilda. All right. He does as of this video. And uh, <laughs> he's like me. Sometimes we just, one day we're making a video of something and the next day it's gone. That's kind of like how it is. I don't know. I don't, just have to check him out. And don't forget to check out my buddy John Boy's. Pro Wash on YouTube too. Tell him, tell him that you heard about him from Primer is Best. Done a great job, didn't he? Thanks for watching, guys. The Lord's in charge, and he's been very, very, very good to me and Mrs. P.I.B., and I appreciate all the prayers. I appreciate y'all having confidence in us, sending us comments for me and my wife to pray for you on things that's going on in your life. Times is tough. Times is hard, and, uh, you know, everything keeps going up and people's having personal problems and I won't get into all of it, but there's a lot of things going on. Guys, it, you know, we pray for a lot of folks. We have a prayer list pretty long. It's sad to say, but we have a prayer list pretty long, but we pray every day for folks that's on the prayer list. So the Lord knows your names and he knows your what you're going through and, uh, you know, he, he doesn't, I keep telling myself this too when it comes to my mother-in-law and stuff like that, that uh, 
He doesn't put on you more than you can bear. So that's always comforting to know. And uh, another Bible verse is, and I can't think of just where it's at, but I will never fail you. I will never abandon you, says the Lord. I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I think about things like that sometimes when I'm, when my mind is troubled. So anyway, I don't know if this helps anybody or not, but hey, that's just, that's how I get through the day, get through the week, whatever. And my wife does too. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless each and every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all watching and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Tell your family and friends and uh, I sure would appreciate it. God bless y'all. See ya.